Hello, I am Ines from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you an easy, quick way to remove the lens distortion and that you have filmed. So as you can see over here, I've been filming with the GoPro uh, on a medium or wide angle. I'm not sure anymore, but as you can see, the composition doesn't look so nice as it would look uh, on a narrow angle because you have a lot of um, perspective um, distortion and I don't really like it in here but as um, I can't film it again um, and I always like to, to film in medium so I can look in post um, if I like it or not and then I can remove it in post so I'm going to use After Effects to remo uh, remove that distortion I'm sure you can do that in other software but as I use After Effects quite a lot I'm going to use After Effects to fix this so you can follow me along in After Effects. So uh, click on your footage and drag and drop it to a new composition that will make a new composition with the same dimensions of your footage, the same length and the same FPS. So um, always do that if you're importing just one footage. Um, now once you have your footage selected, uh, make your selection of what you want to be, uh, to be using and then we're going to click on our footage going to Effect and going to uh, distort so right over here and then we're going to pay the optic on, uh, optics compensation effect and over here we have all the options and we only need two options and that is to click on the reverse lens distortion and then just edit the field of view until you see that it's um, you kind of get all but uh, eyeball it uh, until you see that the perspective uh, perspective is right so I'm going to say uh, I've been testing it out uh, quite a lot and I'm saying that 62 is always working out fine for me I'm thinking this is the correct uh, the correct feel, uh, field of view but um, I'm not completely sure if you find out something else that is uh, exact you can always leave a comment but in my case this works fine and I like it this way so I'm going to preview it right now and you will see that everything is just uh, the same as it would be filmed in, on a narrow um, on a narrow field of view so for me this works always and I always like to to film on a wider angle so I can look back and post and see what I whatever I want so you can see it looks a lot better right now than it would be um, on a wide angle view so it's a quick and easy fix um, but I have some people that already um, always asked me to to do this uh, kind of a tutorial because they they thought it was a little bit harder than it is right now I could actually go in uh, the messages and just uh, answer them, but um, I, I thought maybe some other people would be having this problem too, so just a quick video, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have other suggestions for tutorials, always leave a, a comment below. Um, I don't really have a lot of time to make tutorials lately and most of the people will already, uh, already be noticing this that I'm not uploading quite often, um, but it's also because I don't have any inspiration of what I should be making. So. Um, I need you guys to ask me what you want to see on my channel. Um, I'm focusing on motion graphics, visual effects and editing so um, don't go on web design because I don't do that anymore. Uh, I don't want to spend my years doing web design as I'm a yeah filmmaker kind of thing. So um, thanks for watching and goodbye. Sorry for the extra uh, time that you had to hear me. Goodbye.